Concrete production, batching, mixing and sampling. Concrete is the most widely used man-made substance in the world and the second most used overall after water. Approximately 4.7 tonnes of concrete is manufactured annually for every one human being on earth. By the time you finish watching this video, enough concrete will have been produced worldwide to fill 50 Olympic sized swimming pools. Known for its high compressive strength and durability, concrete is the foundation of modern development and infrastructure. Concrete is all around us. It is above our heads in skyscrapers, beneath our feet in roads and footpaths, under the ground in tunnels. The concrete to be used in today's practicals has been mixed on site in our materials laboratory. Concrete is a composite material consisting of aggregates of various sizes held in place by a cementitious binder. This mix contains cement, water, fine aggregate, i.e. sand, and coarse aggregate, i.e. limestone gravel, in both 10mm and 20mm sizes. A mix design has been undertaken to achieve a concrete with 35 megapascals compressive strength after 28 days. This mix design has dictated that the following proportion of the aforementioned constituents are required to produce one cubic meter of suitable concrete, with a target density of 2360 kilograms per meter cubed. Today's lab session requires much less than this. We need a volume of approximately 0.08 meter cubed. Multiplying the individual constituents of the concrete by the required volume gives the required mass of each constituent. The calculated proportions of the constituent materials are then collected, prepared and weighed out in a process known as batching. The 20mm and 10mm coarse aggregates are batched first. The sand is then batched. Cement takes the form of a very fine powder. When batching the cement, a mask must be worn to avoid inhaling the minute particles. Gloves must also be worn when handling cement and fresh concrete. Fresh concrete is highly basic with a pH level of between 11 and 13. The water, along with any admixtures such as plasticizers or retarding agents, are the last to be batched. Any admixtures are added to and mixed thoroughly with the water. The batch constituents are combined, in sequence, in a revolving concrete mixer. The mixer is itself first wetted slightly and then drained to stop water being absorbed by any concrete debris within the drum. Mixing begins with a dry mix. The 20mm and 10mm coarse aggregates plus the fine aggregate are added to the drum. The aggregates are mixed for approximately 30 seconds. The cement and water are then added to the mixer. With all of the constituents now in the mixer, wet mixing can commence. The concrete is mixed for approximately 5 minutes. It is then left for 10 minutes so that the water may be absorbed by the aggregates and cement. It is then briefly mixed again before discharging. Once mixing has been completed, and before testing on the fresh concrete can commence, the material must be sampled. Sampling is the process whereby a representative part of the concrete is taken which accurately reflects the characteristics of the batch as a whole. In Europe, sampling must take place in accordance with the standard EN12350 Part 1. A quantity of concrete at least 1.5 times as large as that required for testing should be taken. The concrete is emptied from the mixer into a pre-wetted sampling tray. It is then spread evenly across the surface of the tray. 
A composite sample is created by taking at least five incremental samples from different locations and combining them. These incremental samples should be taken in such a way so as to represent the entire width and depth of the batch. Once sampling has been completed, the concrete may be used for testing or for specimen production. Thank you.